People often ask me, what side effects should they be looking for with hormone replacement therapy? And the good news is most women don't have any side effects. And that's wonderful. Doesn't mean nobody gets side effects because certainly side effects are possible, but the majority of my patients really don't get side effects. But let's talk about the side effects that you can experience. So breast tenderness is, is one of the common ones. Most of these side effects, if they are gonna happen, happen pretty much right away, and they tend to go away with time. One of the sort of good news, bad news uh, about this treatment approach is that it takes a while to really get the benefits of hormone replacement therapy. I mean, you may get some benefits right away, but most of the benefits can take a while. It can take a month or two or even three months before you really get the maximum benefits. The bummer is the side effects tend to show up right away, but the good part of that is they also tend to go away fairly quickly. And so the first couple, two, three weeks for some people are a little rocky because they're having these side effects, but they're not getting the benefits. They're like, why am I doing this? And so for most people, if they can just hang in there and work through the side effects will gradually go away and the benefits will gradually come up and they'll feel great. So that's sort of the big picture on side effects. So breast tenderness um, is a not uncommon side effect of estrogen therapy. For most people, it sort of happens initially and then it goes away. If it's not going away or it sort of develops later and kind of lingers, then decreasing the dose of the medication is often what's needed to get rid of that side effect. Some women can have spotting. Sometimes initially, particularly, it can trigger a period right away, which can be really annoying, especially if you've gone a long time without a period and you start this medicine and a week or two or three or four, all of a sudden you get a period you haven't had one in six months. I understand that can be horrendously annoying. But that's usually only at the initiation, at the beginning of treatment, and then that's the end of it. If you have spotting that's not going away or bleeding that's not going away over you know, a kind of reasonable length of time, that's not okay. And in that case, you need to let me know right away. And we, sometimes we can manipulate the medicine to get that under control. If it doesn't go away, then ultimately you may, may need to be seen by your doctor. Now, sometimes what happens with hormone replacement therapy is there's something going on in the uterus that you don't know about and isn't causing you any issues. The hormone replacement therapy can uncover that. And for instance, let's say you have a polyp in your uterus. It may not be doing anything. Now, you don't want that polyp in your uterus, but you don't know about it because it's not causing symptoms. Starting hormone replacement therapy can sometimes cause that polyp to bleed and give you symptoms. Now, that's a bummer on the one hand. On the other hand, that's gonna drive you to the doctor to find out that you have that polyp so it can be removed. So that's just one example. But it's very rare to have enough of an issue that you need to be seen for that issue. For the most part, it's, it's a one-time deal or just happens at the beginning and then goes away as far as bleeding or spotting goes. And we just kind of get you through that initial bleed and then things are good. So don't think this is gonna happen month after month after month. The other thing about hormone replacement therapy, it can punish you if you forget it. So if you're on it for a while and then you go on vacation or something and you forget your medicine and you're off of it for several days or a week, that in and of itself can cause a period. So just so you know, if you forget two, three, four days in a row, don't be surprised if you have some bleeding sometime in the next week or so. That's a common problem if you forget your medicine. So again, it's really important to be consistent with this medicine and that keeps the side effects down. Occasionally women will get headaches um, but that's pretty unusual. Um, honestly, any medicine can give you headaches. Usually it doesn't happen or goes away pretty quickly if it does. Some women, particularly with the pills, can have a little nausea um, with the medicine that usually goes away after a few weeks as your body gets used to the new medication. Can happen with the cream or the patch, but less common, more common, you know, as you would expect if you're putting something in your stomach with a pill or a capsule, uh, can cause nausea. One of the interesting things is sleep. So. When we give you hormone replacement therapy, I always tell you to take it at night because it can be sedating and it can really help your sleep. And so if you take it in the morning, sometimes it can make you feel a little sedated through the day. There's a small percentage of women, less than 5%, where it does the exact opposite. So what'll happen is you take it at night and oh, you're wired and you can't get to sleep. And there's a, like I said, less than 5%, but not zero. And there's certainly a small percentage of women where this medicine will be activating rather than sedating. It'll act like caffeine. And so if you find that you, when you take it, you're wired and you can't get to sleep, that tells you, okay, I need to take this in the morning rather than at night. And you won't know that until you try it um, and find out how your body responds. But for most people, it's sedating. Taking it at night helps them sleep. Every once in a while, you've got a woman that you've got to take it in the morning, and then it acts like caffeine and gives you a little boost. So that's uh, another side effect that can happen um, that 
you know, you just have to adjust how you're taking it. Sometimes this can cause bloating. Um, and again, that's just usually at the beginning and then goes away. Unfortunately, that can also cause some water retention, which can cause some weight gain, which is really water weight. That will also go away with time, um, but it can be frustrating because one of the things that you're potentially taking this for is to make weight loss easier. And now you take it and, hey, I'm five pounds up in the first month. It's almost always water weight will almost always go away fairly quickly once your body adjusts to the medication. Same thing with bloating. Again, most people don't get these at all. As far as the DHEA goes, um, again, most people do very well with the DHEA without any side effects at all. Occasionally, it'll cause some acne, but that's usually short-lived. So don't be you know, shocked or worried if, you know, oh, I'm getting acne, I haven't had this since I was a teenager. That should go away pretty quickly. It's just at the very beginning. And again, most women, don't get that at all. Again, any medication can cause headaches, including DHEA. There's a rare side effect from DHEA. Uh, maybe 1% or less get this, um, where it can make them agitated, um, give them headaches, really make them feel kind of miserable. It's pretty rare. Um, it, it, again, uh, I'd say less than 1%. Uh, but for me, it hit home because that happened to my wife. Um, and so, you know, when, when it happens to you or your wife, you always, oh man, you worry about that. But the truth is, uh, it's really a, a, an unusual side effect. And for most people, it doesn't make them feel that way at all. So those are some of the side effects uh, that are potential with hormone replacement therapy. But again, most women don't have any of these side effects at all, and they do well right from the start.